Hey guys, my name is Matimio and welcome to another episode of Mailbox. This is a video series where you, the viewer, can submit your gaming or Battlefield 3 related questions and then I will give my humble opinion on them. So to get things started, the first question for today is what do you think about vehicles in Battlefield 4 getting visible damage? If a tank shell hits another tank, there shouldn't be just smoke around it but also a hole in the metal, broken armor and stuff like that. Another thing that's a bit strange is how vehicles are handled after they get destroyed. I would like it way more if the wrecks wouldn't just disappear, so as a match progresses, the maps look even more like a real battlefield. What do you think? Uh, so I think that this is, this is pretty awesome, and I thought about it a little bit more and tried to take it one step further, and I came up with kind of an idea that if you see, or if you saw a tank that had an RPG shot in it, and you saw that dent in it where it was weakened, if you shot your own RPG at that dent and it made, you know, you hit it, it would do a little bit more damage than if you just shot at the tank from a different direction and that would add just a different layer to tank combat it would add a different layer to taking out tanks which I think would be pretty cool in the next battlefield but even if they didn't go down that route and it was purely an aesthetic thing I would be completely on board it would add a little bit more immersion to the game it probably wouldn't be that difficult for them just to be like oh well if you rep it up then those dents are going to disappear I mean it's a it's a really cool idea and I have a feeling that DICE could do something like this in Battlefield 4. I don't know the capabilities of the Frostbite 2 engine, but I do know that DICE has said that they were not able to max out the Frostbite 2 engine in Battlefield 3. They couldn't do as much as they wanted to, and that was due to the limitations of the hardware for the consoles, and probably some other reasons, probably because it's a new system for them, and they were trying to work everything out. So I have a feeling that they are going to try to ramp things up for the next Battlefield and try to do as much as they can with the ne with the new Frostbite 2 engine, and this could be a way that they do that. Uh, but with regard to your second suggestion, that tanks should stay on the battlefield for longer after they're destroyed, so you kind of have a bunch of tank carcasses all over the place, just to add a further element of immersion. While I think it's cool in concept, I also think that it might take th things a little bit too far, and it would get a little ridiculous. Uh, if you've ever played on a thousand ticket Caspian border, tanks are spawning all the time, and they're also dying all the time. People are taking them out constantly, and it would might get to the point where you just see a, a, an entire battlefield riddled with tank carcasses and while it might be cool at first it would probably just get to the point where it's like oh come on this is getting a little ridiculous so yeah I think it's cool in concept and maybe dice could do something along the lines where maybe after the tank is destroyed not all of it is taken away or disappears maybe a wheel stays or the giant cannon stays something along those lines but I would not want an entire battlefield just littered with these carcasses cool idea though so the next question for today is, for Battlefield 4, I'd like to see more customization for the recon class. For example, a range finder or different bullet grains. Shotguns have different ammo loads and I think it would help out a lot. Like you could have 150, 168, and maybe 180 grain rounds. The 150 being lighter would obviously fly faster and maybe do less damage, while say 180 may fly slower but pack a much more devastating punch. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, I completely agree with you on this one. The recon class, and more specifically the bolt action rifles in this game, the customization is really lacking, especially when you compare it to the other classes and the other weapons. I mean, the bolt action rifle, sure, it does have some things that suit it very well, like the bolt pole or the bipod, but everything else just seems kind of tacked on. I mean, who uses a flashlight? Or, I mean, I know some people like to use the laser sight because they can go and be a little bit more Rambo-ish, they can get some hip fire shots off, but in general, that just doesn't suit what a recon is meant to be. They're supposed to be to medium to long range. And so I, I, I do like your idea of different bullet types, where the, the, the light one will be great for long, range it will make it so that your bullet travels faster you will not have to compensate as much for bullet uh, bullet travel speed and it'll be easier to take out those long ball shots but then you could have a bullet that is a little bit heavier it might be a little bit more challenging but then you it, you could still maybe get a chest shot at a further range and you would get that one shot kill really cool idea and rangefinder I, I mean rangefinder I guess but I, I think the whole concept of rangefinder is kind of silly for a first person shooter that's for me personally but in general I I do want to see more custom customization for the recon class in Battlefield 4 and I want to know what you guys can come up with what would you like to see differently for the recon in a Battlefield 4 uh, let me know down below in the comment section so the final question for today is I was recently watching a video by Hutch where he said the slide mechanic should be standard in most first-person shooters 
I personally feel like this would be a great thing to have in Battlefield to allow a bit more maneuverability. What are your thoughts on this mechanic being introduced into Battlefield 4? Uh, so I think I know what video you're talking about. I believe Hutch was playing some Crisis 3 when he was talking about sliding, and I think for Crisis it works very well. The game is very fast paced, people are running all over the place, and it's very arcadey. And I also think having slide in, let's say, the Call of Duty franchise would also work very well because that also feels very arcadey. But I don't think I would want that for Battlefield 4. Not that I'm saying that it's, you know, not a realistic way to take out your target. I mean, run at someone and then slide and hip fire. That would happen in real life, I guess. But I just feel like that's a mechanic that works for more arcadey games, and I don't really want to see that for Battlefield 4. I, I know that DICE is trying to do what they can to try to take some of the pot and take some of the uh, people from the Call of Duty franchise so that they will buy a copy of their next Battlefield game, and I guess this could be one way to do that, but in general, I, I just wouldn't want to see it in the game. I think it would kind of detract from things a little bit, and I wouldn't be a fan. Uh, but those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mailbox. If you would like to submit your own question that could be featured in a future episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below or by sending me a YouTube message. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.